It's Tipsy Tuesday at 383 Design Studio. Join our digital design guru for today's Adobe Illustrator for Fashion quick tip. So fall is coming. And to celebrate the season's changing, I thought I would show one of our more fun tutorials. I get the fur question at least once a year. So I figured why not finally show it in a quick tip video. So let's get started. First, open your symbols library and choose hair and fur. You can create your own fur, but I've always found these to be sufficient whether I was rendering long or short haired fur. Choose a fur symbol and using the symbol sprayer, start creating a clump of fur. For more variety, use two or three types of fur symbols within the clump. And to add even more interest to the look and texture of the fur, use the symbol scruncher, sizer, and spinner to change the size, direction, and tighten the clump even more. Spend some time switching between the symbol tools to get even more interesting fur looks. Once you've gotten a good ball of fur, expand the symbol instance and copy paste the fur to make an even larger clump. Next, you'll select random pieces of fur to make them various shades of black and gray and give some depth to the fur. Again, take some time doing this. The more levels of grays you create and the more randomly colored the hairs, the more depth your fur will have. Using the pattern tool to help create the repeat, save the fur as a pattern swatch. Lastly, use your pattern tile to create a pattern brush. When you're ready to use your fur, select and fill your object with the fur pattern swatch. Then, add the fur brush to create a fuzzy appearance around the edges of your garment. Cute, huh? And like any other pattern brush and swatch, make sure to save it in your library so you can share with a colleague or use again next season. That's your quick tip for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you on 7th Avenue.